Markets. Markets coming off of the highs of the morning. The Nasdaq's on pace for the worst day since about August 17th. The Dow and the S&P did set some new record highs this morning. And meantime, Bitcoin crossing 11,000 for the first time just a few hours after topping 10,000. For more on this, let's bring in Formula Capital Managing Director and Chess Master James Altucher <laughs> and Spencer Bogart, the Managing Director at Blockchain Capital. Guys, good to have you with us. Thanks so uh, much for having thanks me. Thanks for having me out on. You know, so much of uh, Bitcoin is, is poorly understood, right? Uh, we're all trying to make sense of the phenomenon that it's become. What's your overall take on the, the price action change, the future of its use in American business, global sure. business? So, so that's two questions. Yep. I think day by day, who knows? Coinbase is the largest exchange for Bitcoin. They're adding 100,000 new customers a day. What do each one of those 100,000 people do? They buy a Bitcoin. So that's driving the demand up on a daily basis. Overall, in the long term, we see there's $200 billion worth of cryptocurrencies out there, but there's $200 trillion of demand for money out there. So if Bitcoin is truly solving the problems of paper and fiat currency, which I believe, you're going to see that $200 billion start to move up to $200 trillion. So this price action, who knows day by day, but long term, this price action is certainly not unreasonable and it's going to continue to go higher. So Spencer, you obviously believe in Bitcoin, clearly. Um, do you think that we need derivative Bitcoin products to sort of help maybe the legitimacy or help others be able to play in Bitcoin futures, um, ETPs, so exchange traded yeah. products? What right. do you think about those ideas? Listen, yeah, we hear a lot about is Bitcoin in a bubble, uh, but the reality is that institutional ownership is about zero percent at this point. Right. And we need some of these familiar wrappers like futures, ETPs, yep. et cetera, that help put it in a, in a context that traditional investors can touch. Even on the retail side, less than 2% of people own any Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and yet 14% say they prefer Bitcoin to stocks. That would be a 10x increase in adoption if those people actually go and put some money into Bitcoin. Yeah, and, and let's just add, you know, JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon was trashing Bitcoin yes. uh, a few weeks ago, and now they've just announced they're going to help uh, uh, their clients get into Bitcoin futures, which is a derivative product. So certainly they see there's opportunity here, and that's a huge retail investor base that's going to start playing around with Bitcoin with derivatives. What well, is the risk of real uh, regulatory pressure or complete let's legality? Not, let's not forget. Who, who, what large entity wants to occasionally make large transactions around the world in secret? The U.S. government. <laughs> so believe it or not, the U.S. government is heavily looking into how they can personally or institutionally use Bitcoin to spend. So finally, we covered Diamond's comments pretty heavily when he called it a fraud. John McAfee, if, for whatever it's worth, <laughs> says he now predicts a million dollars by the end of 2020. Do you guys have targets or not? Yeah, I'll say a million dollars by 2020 as well, easily. It seems reasonable. I'm not putting out too many price targets these days, but that seems reasonable. I mean, listen, as with most major technology shifts, let's think about what young people are doing. 32% of young people say they prefer Bitcoin to stocks. 42% of millennial males say they plan to purchase Bitcoin in the next five years. We're barely in the first inning right now. And let's just say there's, there's 15 million millionaires around the world all their financial advisors are going to say, hey, buy a Bitcoin, you need some exposure. There's only going to be 21 million Bitcoins minted ever in history. That's going to also drive demand. James, Spencer, <laughs> we're going to keep covering it. Uh, Let's do it. Out. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very Thank much. You so Thank much. you.